Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and time for uh, one of your favorite videos, many of your favorite videos, uh, what we like to call sometimes a crossover crackout challenge. Let me be more clear what we would call a crackout challenge. Crossover is actually something different. Now, of course, this you'll notice uh, no holder holder. So I'm going to start with what's right in front of me here and this 1924S piece dollar, which is an old gold label PCI MS64. And uh, this coin uh, is quite, quite attractive, I think, overall. Um, I actually did send it in for a combination of conservation uh, and grading, and mostly because there's just this little bit of a mark here on the left-hand side of the coin that is, you know, just looks like it's something on the surface. Uh, and they did not get it off. And what was interesting to me is they left, uh, there's actually a lot of original toning on the back of the coin, which is still there, which, you know, I didn't, I didn't ask them to remove. So apparently they tried to just get to the front of the coin and not the back of the coin, the obverse and not the reverse. So we had a 64 and we went down to a 63. Now, some of you may think this is dumb or I'd go kicking and screaming, but what you need to realize also is that I had this coin priced on my website at uh, basically MS63 price, right? So uh, one of the things that you can see sometimes is you'll have dealers that'll price coins and off holders uh, to the correct price point on the coin. But overall, really nice coin, tough to kind of get. If you want blast white, this coin's not for you. Um, you know, if you just want something that's high luster, it may be for you. Next up, um, now this is like Groundhog's Day. All right, 89cc, not encapsulated ultra surface. So within the last year, I had another 89cc that I sent in to NGC that they did not put in a holder, right? And so this has um, altered surfaces, right? So what you see here is what I would call an altered surface because you see all those lines. You know, that is something that is not just uh, scratches. That looks like someone is trying to smooth out the surfaces and get rid of some dings. You know, and then the 89 has a little bit of a ding down here on it. And then, of course, we got a nice clear CC. The back of the coin um, on this coin has, uh, it's been cleaned. Right, so it doesn't have luster. But here's the thing, right? So in 89cc, when I sent this into NGC, my goal is just to get it in a holder. Why? Because in in low grade, this is a thousand dollar coin. In a high grade, it's a lot more. So I didn't expect the coin to come back uh, without something on the label telling me, "Hey, cleaned, modified, something." So PCGS called this AU details damaged. Now, damage was an interesting choice of words to me because um, you know, I, I think I would have called it smoothed or tooled or cleaned. I think cleaning, they didn't have to necessarily mention is just because once you mention that it's been, uh, tooled or smoothed, then you don't need to mention that so much. They just called it damaged, but you know, I, I shouldn't have to send this coin in twice, honestly. I mean, uh, you know, NGC has given themselves latitude to not encapsulate things for altered surfaces. So, you know, it's their prerogative, but really if I'm, if I'm sending a coin in just for detail grades, in other words, I don't care if it, it says details or not, if there's a problem, still put it in the holder because if I'm going to sell this coin, I need to be able to tell people, Hey, Hey, I know this has some issues, but it's definitely genuine. All right. And so, which I can do, but it's easier for me to do on a coin like this, if it's in a holder, right? So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, guys, leave your comments down below. I'm Ben the Coin Geeks. Thanks so much for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.